This piece is about death, or more precisely, life after death. Of the billions or tens of billions of creatures, human or not, that have lived and died on Earth, and maybe off Earth, not a single one has returned to give an account of the afterlife. It's a comforting thought, this life after death, and as with all comforting thoughts, there are plenty of scammers out there to take advantage of it. Do you want a million dollars? Now there's a comforting thought. Just send one thousand dollars to this Nigerian bank as a processing fee, you understand, and your million will be on its way. And people do send the thousand. Masses of them do. They make the scammers millionaires. Would you like to return to life in a, say, a couple of hundred years when a cure for your cause of death has been found? How comforting! Wealthy people are paying cryogenic laboratories all around the world two or three million dollars, plus a hundred thousand a year maintenance fees, to be deep frozen in time. And so we come to life after death. Long ago, before today's religions were even thought of, witch doctors and shamans found their way to riches and power by claiming to have the key to life after death. Just modify your behaviour in a way that the shaman or priest can control you and control your mind and your family and life after death is yours. Look at the motives. Nobody is going to give me money or power over you for telling you what I've just told you. But millions, tens of millions of people will hand over their money and their minds to the priests of religion to get a piece of the afterlife. So, who has the motive for persuading you, one way or the other? Not me. You're not going to give me one red cent for this. It's a scam, people. It's a scam like every other piece of religious bunkum.